everyone, my name is Amy, this is the Opinionated Woman, and welcome to my weekly vlogs. Um, it is Monday, obviously, 21st of January. January? Ah, 21st of March. <laughs> and it is a public holiday here in South Africa. Um, I don't have client work to get on with right now. I'm in this lull with clients where I'm waiting for my main clients. When and my cl main client orders content, I make a decent, decent chunk of cash for each article. Like they pay really, really well, but they are on a hiatus still and I'm waiting. So today is gonna be an inadvertent public holiday, but I'm gonna use it for editing and stuff. I've got a one last try with a rant at the end that I need to add in. <laughs> um, and this weekend I spent basically gardening and journaling. So let me show you what I did. This lighting does not make it look cute, but it's, it's my little tire planters that I made. I filled them with some rock roses. Yeah. And then I've got a pink one. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys see my spider web. I love that spider web. And then I got a pink one on this side. I think it's so cute. And then, so in this, Abby loves to sleep here. So I had a spec worm there, and spec worms are expensive. So I transplanted it. Um, and I'm gonna buy her some mondo grass, plant it here, and she can sleep on it like a cat blanket. Um, so I found this guy in one of my plants that I uh, gave it its own little pot. This guy was also in one of my bigger plants that I didn't know. I actually think I need to split that little baby away. Um, maybe when I have another pot. And then I transplanted the speck worm in here, which is already like starting to perk up a lot because it doesn't have a cat sleeping on it, which is excellent. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I kept myself very busy on the weekend. Uh, I had a lot of fun just like spending some time, time at home and making my space look cute. Okay, so I'm still reading An Instance of the Finger Post uh, by Ian Pierce. Um, I spoke about what this is about and everything in my um, previous vlog. I've got like 150 pages left. Um, it's intriguing and gothic and um, it's it's all around this one story so we get this like account of these events that happened by this one guy um marco de cola then we get another guy james prescott who who has read marco de cola's account and now is making his own account then we're talking now we're talking to this other guy whose name i forgot Shit. um and he's read both of their accounts and now we're learning more about it but it's very confusing, like you don't know who to believe, who's telling the truth here, whose uh, like, description of everything is actually the way things went. And I think parts of each person's story is true and parts of it is their own like narrative, I guess, which is very interesting. Um, and then on audiobook, I started listening to Ghost Wall by Sarah Moss. Um, this is also another very atmospheric book um, about a family and a group of students with their professor that are spending, I think, the summer living like Iron Age people. Uh, the main character, Sylvie's father, is very, very intense, very much like uh, romanticizes the Iron Age and like back when things were simpler and, you know, things like that. So it's very beautifully written. I've heard so many people talk about how atmospheric and stunning this book is, and I'm seeing why now, definitely. Um, it's a very, very short one. It's only like three hours. Um, so I'll probably pick up something else during the week, but for now, that's all I got to say. I'm doing that thing, <clears throat> going for a walk via mental health. Um, because being, being inside the apartment all day is not good for you. So you're supposed to get out all the time and I only convince myself to get out sometimes. <laughs> you go just like, sprint across me. I bribe myself for the speedy. I hope you can hear this. Um, but we're not going to be out for too long because it's windy as all books. But I just obviously needed some vitamin D. I thought it was a public holiday. A bit busier than I anticipated. <laughs> but uh, yeah, nice to be out. Tim, my boy, he's come through. He's come through. He just updated our document where we share our docs. Tim is my client. If you guys didn't know, it's not his real name. He's just my my OG. He's the guy who's keeping me keeping me going right now. 
Um, <laughs> and he just updated my doc with <clears throat> six new articles to work on. So that is a reason to get up in the morning. Yes. Um, I have even like scheduled it yesterday that uh, I mean uh, tomorrow that I have some editing to do. Um, but I can always shift that to Friday or if I have some time at the end of the day because I don't structure my day as a normal like nine to five. Um, I can do some editing at the end of the day because I've got some bullet journal. My, my bullet journal's done for April. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with it. Um, so it was really fast. <laughs> um, what are you doing, my boy? He's making a nest. I never know what his goal is. Um, but yeah, oh my God, that is a relief. I went a week with, I, I did one, I did my Smart Art article last week and that was it. And I was pooping my little pants, let me tell you. Um, so I am going to freaking bang these motherfuckers out. Like I've seen them, I've already structured them in my head. I already know what articles I'm going to link out because like we need to link out to similar recipes and he's indicated like three different points within the article that he wants me to link out to different things. I know their, their website back to front. I'm like, oh, I know I can link this recipe and this recipe and this recipe. <laughs> I haven't even cooked most of them, but, um. Yeah, I know it back to front now. But yeah, that is a huge relief. Whew. What is happening with my hair? What is happening with my hair down here? It seems rather larger than it's supposed to be. <laughs> anyway, hi pals. It is Tuesday and I am at my desk and I'm working. Um, I've just set up the first article and when I say set up, I mean I accidentally wrote half of it. Um, so, <laughs> so far so good. Five more articles to set up today. Um, though I unfortunately <laughs> decided I'm not going to go to the shops tomorrow because I didn't have any work until the evening. Um, I'm like, I'll go tomorrow and I've got like, I need to buy uh, lunch for today. I need to buy like stuff for dinner. Um, I need to get a new pen because this, this is my everyday pen. It's a Tombow Furunosuke marker and they, uh, it's so good. It's so, so good. Um, but it's running out which is an issue when you write as much as me. Um, luckily, where I need to go do chores is where I can buy this baby from. So I'm gonna be doing, going to do that and then spend the rest of the day sorting out all of those articles so that I can get them written during the week. Yes, working, feeling productive. <laughs> There's a guy like right here but i'm going to be brave and i'm going to vlog <laughs> so as you saw i popped in for my staple pen and that is the tombow tombow furunosuke brush pen it's got a, a firm tip hanger she it's real nice uh i can't put my hand in front of it because i'm holding you um but yeah it's a beautiful pen my sibling who's an artist uh, recommended it and this is what i've been using my bullet journal, you know, everyday kind of um, kind of stuff. So chuffed, it was the last one. I couldn't find it for a second. I was like, no. <laughs> um, and then I also picked up this little guy. This is a preppy, a platinum preppy fountain pen. Um, I used to write exclusively in fountain pens when I was in school. Um, it was like one of the only things that could make my handwriting legible. <laughs> um, and I got bought one of these for Christmas by my dad and it was a really lovely present and I was really enjoying writing it. I've been, this is my diary pen. So when I'm writing in my diary, I have a very specific pen that I use for it and this was it. Um, and then I dropped it on its nib, which made me so upset. So I was like, no, I, I have to replace this pen. Um, because it's really good and I missed having a having a fountain pen. So yeah, replace that guy. Very happy oh, Time to go home. I am home. Um, I'm just unpacking my groceries because while I was on uh, While I was out I managed to finish Ghost Fort by Sarah Moss It was a really good short novel like this 
you know what I'm like. If you watch my vlogs at all, you know what I'm like when I <laughs> Sorry, I need to close you in the cupboard. Um, what I'm like when it comes to um, short, like very, very short uh, books, I, I, I it always leaves me wanting more. Um, like a lot of a lot of books that I've written so short, like sometimes leave uh, like a little bit too much, you know, like unsaid for me. But this was a really, really good length. I thought this was perfectly done. Um, the atmospheric writing, absolutely wonderful. Um, and I think I'm going to be reading more from Sarah Moss in the future uh, because, yeah, her writing style, I really, I really be good along with her writing style. Um, so, after that, I picked up Monday is Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. This is obviously one of her older ones. Um, I think the last book I read of Tiffany D. Jackson's was Blackout, which was that um, short story collection. Um, and I think before that, her last like standalone that I read was Grown. I think that was maybe the first standalone of hers that I read. I don't know why I started with Grown, but like I've been wanting to read her stuff for so long. Um, when I was coming to the end of uh, Ghost Wall, I was like, no, nah, I need to. I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood for some good old Tiffany D. Jackson magic because she is magic. Um, this is following Claudia, um, whose best friend is called Monday, and she starts her first day back at school. Um, in the new for the new year and Monday is not at school and nobody seems to like the teachers aren't saying anything about it she goes to her house the mom's just saying she's not in she's not in um, her parents are like sort of fobbing it off her parents I think don't realize that Monday is like Claudia's only friend um, so yeah, she's just getting more and more distressed basically because she doesn't know where her friend is and nobody seems to actually give a shit uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm willing to go on any ride that Tiffany Jackson is going to take me on, whether that becomes sad, which it probably will. Um, um, I trust her. <laughs> um, so now it's my turn. When I decided to foster during the lockdown, I did not expect. Where is he even? This level of clingy. Oh my God, he just like wangled his way through that gap so he can sleep yes hello hello sweet boy so he can sleep under my feet yes I know you're very sweet and then he cries when I leave oh goodness sweet boy I want to point out that I feel very on the ball at right now because I set up six articles today which is about 3,000 words uh, I got my pens that I've been needing to get for a while. I did a quick shop for dinner and for lunch and for smoothie supplies because I wanted to become a smoothie bitch because I don't eat enough fruit and vegetables. Um, and now I am editing my bullet journal video, um, which is like over, like a week a week early, more than a week early. Um, which is great. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna make myself some honey lemon chicken with roasted parsnips and beetroot for dinner. I feel very accomplished today. It's Wednesday morning. Um, mm, I just finished drinking my coffee and reading my book for the morning. I have like just under a hundred pages of this book left. Um, we've got a narrator now that um, so all these different narrators, like you hear about the person before you get their response because they're all involved in this one little like network of events that's happening. And like you've gotten part of a story from one person, part of a story from another one, part of a story and you're like, who is telling the truth here? What is the actual situation? And I think that going from Mr. Wood's point of view right now, he's sort of tying everything um, together. And he's also, I can't say that any of these people are nice people, but he's definitely um, the middle two men I found it hard to read from because, I mean, I think it's supposed to be that way. They're like really not great people and the, the ideas they have are kind of, you know, <laughs> um, 
but I'm really intrigued to see what this last little part has in store. Um, but what I wanted to come on and say is that, oh my goodness, this is one thing, hang on, let me get my bullet journal. So if you haven't seen my bullet journal videos, I do like a mood tracker. Um, I was about to show you April's, but that video won't be up before this one. Um, so let me show you this one. So in my, uh, on my mood tracker, I have my moods, right? This is my, uh, the day of the week, the weather, because um, me and my psychiatrist have figured out that I am affected by um, <clears throat> cold weather. Um, like we might have to look at my meds and stuff like that during winter, um, you know, make some behavioral adjustments, but um, that's why I track the weather. And also I like to know what's going on. Um, and then there's my morning mood and my evening mood, and they're all color coded. Um, Oh, this is probably a better one to show you. <laughs> this is January's. Um, so these are the color coding things. They're very specific. Um, and then if there's something in black, it's that something changed my mood. Um, uh, that was not to do with, it's not to do with my moods. It's to do with like, like when my cat died, you know, something like that. Um, so I also take note of my period here so the red is actual bleeding this is just normal during the month that's ovulation and then these darker ones are um pms week which is the week before um <clears throat> my period which is this week now i don't get like snappy really or anything like that i i get more sometimes my anxiety comes up but it affects things that are strange so um, I've now come to realize, so I remembered here, I put that this day was affected a lot because I was tired. And you'll see here, from, from here, there's like no bones mornings, which is when I'm like super, super tired and sometimes I fall back asleep on the couch. So there's no bones, tired, tired, no bones. And that coordinates with my PMS week. So now I know that I'm in PMS week for this cycle. <clears throat> when I woke up twice, twice last night, sweating like you have no idea. Like I was wearing another shirt. Um, I got up, the shirt was too wet from sweat. I took it off, dried myself off with a towel, <clears throat> got back into bed. Slept, went back into the same dream, which I can't for the life of me remember. Um, went back into the same dream. Woke up again, sweated through my shirt. And so I took my shirt off and I just got back into bed freaking topless because I was like, what's the point if I'm just gonna keep soaking through shirts? I had to flip my pillows and stuff. And yeah, it's Wednesday before, so I start my period on a Tuesday, just so you guys know. <laughs> um, but yeah, like keeping track of these things on that tracker has been really handy because otherwise I would have been like, why is my sleep weird? Why am I feeling so fatigued, like so tired when I shouldn't be? It's because my body, my body's doing stuff in my little womb, my useless gay womb. <laughs> Not that all gay wombs are useless, just mine is. I'm never going to have a baby. Mm, if my partner wants to have a baby, they can, but not me. Thank you. Um, anyway, I talked for long enough. I'm going to work out now. Is she getting the urge to climb trees? I think that one's a teensy bit on the small side, my girl. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, I'm all set up and ready to work. Um, I just had to do a couple of uh, video things that were that I'd left uploading overnight. So um, that's all squared away. Now I have three articles to write. Um, they're all obviously halfway done. Um, so this is my work. Coffee. Yes, you may laugh at the mug. It is very ironic, but yes, coffee, oat milk, as usual. Um, no, not, not Rachel Oats. There we go, recipe, all up and running. I have my candle, which I try and put on as a location that it's like work time now. Like, all the, it smells beautiful and inspiring. It's time to write. Um, that's what I'm trying to do at least. That's why I like... Um, Scent candles so much. <laughs> I haven't chewed myself to one in a long time, and 
the love is still there. The love is really real. Um, <laughs> uh, and then I put on it, essential. Essential to this is I can't show you because you you are what plays the music uh, for me. But I have a work playlist um, on Spotify that has exactly exactly the right vibe for writing. So all set up, ready to go. Let's write about some food. Come boy. Come on, down the stairs. You can do it. Come on. Good boy. Oh, brave boy. Look at these pools. I've never like gone up properly close to these guys before. Look at this. Beautiful. Are there any creatures in there? There's a little snail over there. <laughs> so beautiful. I found some fish. I don't know if you can see them. There's one over by those rocks. They're real little. Look at this, it's stunning. And the sea pours into those bigger pools down there. Wow. Did you go in the water and get on the rocks like a brave boy? Yes, yes you did. <laughs> that was fun but I'm sweaty as all hell right now. So I'm going to go back home and the rest of the day is going to be editing and cleaning my bathroom which you probably don't need to see. <laughs> Hi, it's Friday. No, it's not. It's Thursday. It's fucking Thursday. <laughs> I keep on thinking it's Friday because I'm ending this vlog today, uh, <clears throat> but it's not. Um, so yet again, I woke up absolutely drenched in sweat last night. And I mean, it's not been hot, eh? And I'm like not sleeping under my covers properly or anything. Um, and yeah, literally, I had to just completely strip last night. Just got back into bed fucking butt-ass naked because I can do that now that I live by myself. Um, yeah, this is, like, it must be a premenstrual thing. So frustrating. Like, your body is going through enough. <laughs> like, it needs rest, you know? Like, I'm shedding, I'm getting, preparing to shed the inner lining of my womb. I should feel better. <laughs> I should be able to sleep. I should be able to sleep. And I mean, my periods are so easy compared to some people. So easy. So, yeah, whatever. Um, I've got 50 pages left of Instance of the Finger Post. It's in my room. Um, yeah, we found out a couple of little little things that are, were really intriguing. Um, I'm liking the way this final chapter is sort of taking everything and wrapping it together. It's very well done. Yeah, I'm still reading Monday is not coming. It is so good. Oh my god. Like, this poor girl, like, she's so, she's really struggling. And her, her, her friend has been with her for such a long time. Monday has been such a part of her life since she was a little child. And she's really struggling outside of that. And I think people didn't realize how much, like, Monday would read over Cordia's work before handing it in because they're only just picking up now that Claudia might have a learning disability and things like that she's really struggling and so many people are just like they're not doing enough for the fact that this child has seemingly just disappeared off the face of the earth hasn't registered for school nothing and Claudia is so desperate for someone to actually take her seriously and people are helping her to some extent but not the not as not what she's asking for and it's really heartbreaking um and like there's this like sense of dread finding out like what happened to monday because like i've got no idea yet <clears throat> but yeah, yeah uh tiffany d jackson has a way of writing hard to read things in a way that lets you read them but makes you feel the impact at the same time i found that a lot in grown i mean grown is so full of trigger warnings but what an incredible book. <clears throat> uh, so for today, I have three more Tim articles to write. Um, those should be fine. They're nothing, nothing too difficult. Uh, 
and then as I said I'm finishing off the vlog today because tomorrow um, because I finished up all of those articles for the week um, I am going to go to Cork Bay tomorrow which is not close to me at all it's like a little bit of a, a, a road trip not exactly a road trip it's still in Cape Town um, because I want to go and do a come book, book shopping with me I have some birthday money that was specifically for books and I want to show you guys a bunch of um, independent bookstores as much as I can so I'm going to take you guys with me to Cork Bay Books um, when you're watching this video it should be out on Wednesday um, so we're gonna go book shopping with me to buy like one book <laughs> um, but I'll show you the seals and the harbor etc etc um, but I think I'm actually just going to finish the vlog off here. So if you did enjoy this vlog, I took you on some adventures as well this week. Two weeks in a row. I'm quite proud of myself. Um, <laughs> I hope you did enjoy this vlog. If you did, please give me a like. Maybe a follow. A follow? Um, this is not TikTok, Amy. <laughs> Maybe a subscribe and tickle my bell for notifications. Follow me on TikTok. I'm funny on there. Um, I'll take you next time.